There's Ooh. some building hits, Nature's kind of big DC needed. needed. On the Ember Spirit, taking some early harassment. Mason running uh, what's become one of the most popular carries, at least here on day one in the main event, is Bulba is going to be brought down. They can try and take these early fights, apply pressure, and take advantage of Ichi, who just want to farm that Dusa for late game. But now the jump comes in onto Aggressive. Great catch there by Abed. The swap out says, take my friend instead. Aggressive continuing to run, continuing to try and get away, but the rockets drop. Demon doing good work, not finding the kills just yet. As RTK strikes first, bringing down Dubu. Demon retaliating with the FY grab, and Aggressive still trying to hunt Mason, but another dagger. Looks like he might escape. Then Abed comes back, and what a great bait by Mason. They will find an additional kill here. Looking still for ROTK. Could BOT back in. Still DC. Sticking around. Threatening to go in. They got Spectre. 20 seconds. Moving forward. They need a little more time for these ults. Abed's going to jump into the pit. Oh, no. The age of Snatch by Aggressive. The last hit, though, does go the way of the Dire, but he pays for it with his life. Vengeance as Fenrir will take Abed down. And now the chase forward. Looking for the Bulba kill. No mana on Aggressive as of yet. No stick charges either. But they don't need it. They're just able to muscle him down with auto attacks and the power of the sun. Under cover of Shadowblade, he's going to scout out Demon here in reserve, quickly gets jumped on. Then we're combining, they'll find the early kill, and that's a great way to start the fight for VG Gaming. Now the Phoenix egg committed is aggressive, chasing for those follow-up kills. Not able to find anyone just yet. Uh, slightly underwhelming Kaboom is the boundless strike on aggressive, combining there with the Sprout, but they're committing a lot just for the Aegis. We'll finally pop it. Is there any sort of response here? Overgrowth is cooling down, but they don't have the egg to combo with it, and aggressive gets trapped, has to swap himself away. RTK there, trying to protect him as best he can, throwing out the shields, the heals. Now the Ray comes. F5 from the back doing what he can, but it's simply not enough. He has to dive away too. What could be a key weapon in their upcoming fight, so no Radiance now. Still for 500 gold as Bulba oh, makes a big dive in. Can they punish this? They get the silence off on FY. No egg for you, sir, he says. Killing him off quickly. And now on to Fenrir. Can they bring down the Tram Protector? Low being hounded by the Golem. Not dead just yet. Aggressive looking for the turnaround, though. They will end up finding three, turning this fight on its head, and they do it without the Phoenix Egg required at all, with Bulba already dead. So basically, it felt like a 3v5, and they still get three kills of their own. Has freed up a slot. Freeze ready to grab this, and Dubu may be looking to be cute, Got but it. his tree gets eaten down with the monkey is the call. Will Abed even try for heroics here in the pit? He gets, well, actually, no, sorry. Demon getting swapped into the bash. Follow-up sun could be coming through momentarily from aggressive. Is going to end up going down. Age just secured by Freeze. Mason, having already used the Manta, could be in danger here. He's going to get stunned, then slowed down by the Leech Seed. Still waiting for reinforcements to arrive. Swooping in deeper, dropping the egg. The overgrowth there. Great combination going now for the stun, but able to haunt away to the other side of the fight. Mason looks to reset, and it looks like they may have bitten off more than they could chew. Even RTK coming in, getting healed up by the Sunray, but FY so low, Bulba brings him down. Now RTK, the ult's about to end. The pain might be beginning momentarily as he gets chewed up by the mana burn. Quickly falling, now aggressive. On to the next one, they say. Dusa looking to salvage the fight. They have to commit the stone gaze. They don't have a whole lot else just yet. They get the bash on Abed. Can they get the follow up though? Abed takes the tree down. Freeze, extremely tanky and painful, but doesn't really have much to work with here as Abed will get silenced, sprouted now. Bulba trying to engage onto him, almost dies in the process, ends up living, kiting away. Great plays by Bulba, now looking for Freeze, looking for the team wipe. Can they finish him off? He's got the Aegis, they probably have to kill him twice as he will end up dropping. Yeah, Aegis not gonna expire just yet. So round two, here we go, nobody in sight. Not gonna be easy here for Freeze as they continue to pound away at him. Freeze going what for the TP out, no! Oh. So close, but That's so TP. far. That's really the concern for Vici is they seem in those larger team fights very reliant on the Dusa to be there, and she is not the most mobile heroes. RTK will get caught here, time being in the middle lane. Do you see the Silver Edge pick up on Bulba, so has to be careful not to get killed off without the borrow time activation. But we'll work on him a little bit. They chase on the demon. They will bring him down. Now the power play potentially. Borrow time from RTK. Duber running right into the meat grinder and flying right back to the well. He'll be picked off. Now the Spectre could be next. Bulba tries to turn. It gets off the silence. Can't quite follow it up, though. They're going to chew through Bulba. Finish him off. RTK will get the kill, but this leaves Mason free to run. Rough shot over Beachy Gaming. Four dead. Might be five as still the Deuce awaits for her respawn. The big punish. DC right back into it. I think it'll be really useful this game. Just gotta be careful not to die. 
Well, speaking of dying, we might see that mid soon as Bobo comes in. He does get the Silver Edge, combines it with the Silence, onto ROTK. Now the Remnant in. Can they kill they him off in time? They do right before he's able to get the Borrow time off. He falls, and now onto Freeze. Stone Gaze already committed. He's being isolated here, but healed up from behind by the Phoenix. Has to drop the egg. They look to retreat as they fight in the Wukong's command. Dupu doing work, but gets punished for it. Will end up going down. So low, Fenrir is trying to stay alive, working on Opet. They're going to get the stun. They do get the kill. They went right into the massive team fight. Time to take the racks, maybe enough. Yeah, Freeze knocking on the front door now. Anybody home, he says. DC, they answer, but not a very confident response as they've already dropped the melee racks. They really have to get something out of this fight, but it's so tough to go on Freeze. Way out in front, being healed up by the Phoenix. They dropped the rock. He's still basically at full health. The mono's quite decent as well as Mason tries to work on him. That ain't going to happen either. ROTK, borrowed time committed. But remember, has the Aegis, Freeze has the cheese with the evasion of the butterfly. They just keep on hitting buildings. You can't get to these backliners because they're so damn far back. Still slash away at the Dusa. Still has the cheese available. RTK with the Aegis as well. And now the combo! The turnaround! Dropping! First the Triad ultimate, then the A. Kaboom! Fights three. Looking for more. They jump deeper. Looking for the follow up Amazing. And they bring him down. They will up it. Looking for the turnaround. He commits pretty heavily into this fight, but still Freeze alive through it all. Even going aggro onto Bulba. Wants to bring the Nature's Prophet down. Can he do it? It's Freeze against the world. So tanky. So difficult to kill. Dubu in danger of dropping here. He's going to oh. commit for it. He gets punished. Demon almost dead as well. Finally, they slay the beast, but the damage done. One really big advantage of Ember is, oh, Mason's in a bad spot right now. Mason out far, and he gets swapped. Looking for oh, the top stun, but he dodges it with the Manta. Big plays from Mason on the big stage, but he gets bashed. Focus. Killed off regardless. He had fast fingers, but Beachy had the numbers. Now the rock getting dropped. They fight in the Wukong's command. They stand their ground. Still have to borrow time, and they engage forward. Dropping the egg. Now potentially the retreat is DC. The golem standing strong. Looks like they will force them on their heels. The egg is going to drop. Freeze still alive, is able to manta his way out of the sprout, and then the turn! There's the ultimate! Coming in, one, two, three, looking to bring him down in a hurry! Finds not only the Spectre, the Prophet, but now looking for the Monkey as well. Abed on the run, he's low, he's not dead yet, trying to chip him down, bit by bit, inch by inch, Freeze does it, gets the triple! Again, though, they are quite low, uh, and may want to heal up first. Oh, they call it! GG! That's it! Man, Beachy Gaming held on to such pressure from DC. Okay, so Demon will play the And Dibu right? plays the Vinch. Yeah. Abed really struggling early. CS game is on point for VG Gaming. Is they've got three in the top four. Now the jump on the, the top lane. Bulba getting caught out here on the Magnus. Can they chase him down? They've already committed the open wounds. They've got the phase boots. Bulba turning and trying for the Quelling Blade. But the first blood does go the way of VG. Quick, decisive kill. Two supports are both very good pre-6. So this should be some Mason getting a little low, though. This is Getting dangerous. A little scary as the jump comes in. Monkey King pouncing together with Aggressive on the Demon. Looking for the Carapace timing here. Aggressive able to finish him off though. Gets the kill. Who's Uchi on Gaming. The Make their move. They've got the initiation potential here from RTK. Who's he gonna get? He gets caught by the wave of terror. He runs right into a tornado. Good reaction play by Abe. Oh, the RP. Now the RP. That's on two, but the counter play comes through from Fenrir. Dropping the rock, blocking Bulba in place. Now forced to turn tail and run. They'll lose Dubu. Can they get out cleanly from there? Mason has the Omni, eats the Laguna, does go down. Tasered from behind as Freeze halts him in his tracks. Now the Sunstrike on top of where his corpse is about to lie. Abed gets put six feet under by Aggressive. Three down in the end. Again, this goes back to your point, like we just haven't seen much out of Bulba this game as far as ganks go. Yeah. The one RP top, but actually end up getting punished. Now Mason trying to TP away. Dupu is there, has the, the swap available if it's required. Now stampeding through, he really wants this kill. Swapping mid stampede, so still able to get on top of him is RTK. Now the follow up coming through the boundless strike. Laguna, they throw the kitchen sink at Mason, and it is enough to take down the big man. Now Freeze looking for Dupu here in the trees. Finds him with the Yules, throws him up in the air, drops him back down into the stun. Waits for the Bloodstone. I'll take one more charge, thank you. <laughs> up to 13 now. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. yeah. Still no big RPs. Hard for, for DC to find the fight, and they just look kind of broken after last game. Do you see that? What's the question about this team was how would they perform under pressure as a squad? And he's safely tough. tucked behind the tower. In fact, the rotation's coming. FY will grab an Invis rune. They want to pounce on Freeze. It could end up being a trap. They're going to get the stun. Follow-up's there. Meatball gets dropped. They get the kill quick, and now they need to get out just as quick. Aggressive coming in. Not able to finish him off in time. 
they do scatter, retreat successfully, but Abed getting clipped on the way out. FY there, leaping forward, getting the balance strike. It is a good tornado. What a tornado. Will he be able to get out? He will! Sick play by Abed. Difficult fight against the Aegis mid lane, but Aggressive wants to force it. He rages pretty early, and he just jumps in. Starts hitting the tower. He gets eyes on Demon, looks for the quick kill. He'll munch him down. Big grab, does have the buyback, might have to use it. Now, look for the turn. Is Abed? Does a decent amount of work here on RTK, gets skewered out of the way, has no mana available. Meanwhile, on the backside, Mason comes in, decapitates the Warlock before he's able to drop the Golem, and now they can move back in, maybe onto RTK, but he's so damn tanky, has the Shiva's armor, has the extra HP from the Heart of Taras. He survives an absolute barrage and still aggressive, Ooh. also left standing. They're able to finish off Demon, that's a dieback for him. Out of the fight for 50 seconds. A clutch player at this last TI, but under the gun here as they are about to lose the racks and now oh it's no. Bulba's turn to whip! A double disaster and double trouble for DC. Can Abed save the day up against the absolute hardest fight of his career, dare I say it, as they continue to work on these racks. They're gonna bring down the melee mid. That's a full lane caved in by VG. Flanking DC down to the bottom lane. Looking for Freeze, and they're going to get the jump the on sun. him. The follow-up connection is there. Sunstrike ends him nice and early. Lena does have the buyback if needed. Does she want to commit it? Out for 30 seconds. Now the rock gets dropped. FY turning, fighting. Has the Wukong's command. Getting the bashes here. Chain stunning Mason no down. Buyback. That's a support Monkey King, but sure doesn't feel like it. Aggressive there with the follow-up. And now straight on to the Tier 3. No buyback on Jug. No buyback on the Venge. So they're down to a 3v5 as Lena gets back into it. This could be the end for Digital Chaos as their hopes of a run at Kiev grow slimmer by the second. Uh, bot Rax is going to fall here. But with Jug 250 gold only off from his buyback, it guarantees the Rax falls almost instantly. They did pick up the Abyssal, which was super crucial to guarantee the Lena kill, but with no good follow-up, no good Omni Slash, the rest of Vichy Gaming just sat back. They said, fine, kill him. We'll wait till we're ready to get you. Meanwhile, there's a 4,000 HP Centaur just running roughshod over their base. A bulwark in the front line. They throw the Sunstrike. They throw everything at him. He doesn't care. He survives. Lives to tell another tale. Oh, and Demon. Aggressive now, just munching on Demon. Another death for him. The long range taser from Freeze. That's it, it looks like. Salt in the wound. And a final finishing blow as Fiji gave me KO Digital Chaos. Knocked them out of the Kiev Major and advance themselves into the top eight.